Wait for me, little cat, he'd say. Wait for me. Scott Four Dummies. Four guys on a Scotch journey to help you with your next Scotch purchase. And, and guys, what is it? It's another Game of Thrones. It, yeah, it is. Why wouldn't it be? Can you do that music overload? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Game of Thrones. This is the House Tully edition, right? So this is the Singleton Scotch uh, produced by Glenn Dolan, and they are being paired with House Tully because of their sigil, which is a fish. And if you've ever checked out a bottle of Singleton... There's a, there's a fighting there's lamprey. A, <laughs> there's a fighting lamprey. Um, <laughs> so that's how they were paired together with, uh, with the, the Game of Thrones story and, and the distillery. Oh, or, or the scotch, I should I say. I you like that one. Um, what's their, their motto there, Drew? Um, <sighs> family, duty, and honor. What about their family? Where's the Tullys come House from? What's Tully. The... Uh, well, I know Caitlin Stark is from there. Um, and then uh, she was a daughter of, I can't remember the, the king's name, but she basically married Ned Stark and then became all the Game of Thrones House of Stark. A little war came happening, you know, a little Game of Thrones war going on, and here we are, <laughs> season eight. She's, craziness. She's long gone. She's gone, unfortunately, with well, the red... Well, sort of. Well, wedding. according to the book, she's not, but in the movies, yeah, she she got left the series we'll and, at the wedding. We'll see. <laughs> Spoiler, maybe? Who knows? All right. Well, so, Mark, but, what's going on? Do you know anything about... I was a little confused earlier on about this. Maybe yeah. Maybe a little... Anything so you got on this? The, the distillery... Uh, Bust through. Glen Dolan. Right, thank you. The distillery uh, Glen Dolan is way up in Dufftown, right? We, yeah, we yeah, already, almost, it's yeah. pretty far up. Um, on the eastern side of Scotland, and the the name of the distillery is Glendolen, but they actually produce the Scotch, the Singleton, and there's three yep. I think in their core range, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, but it's a little bit different because most of us are used to hearing a specific distillery, and then that's also the name of the Scotch, like Glendolen. <laughs> you yeah. know, they actually have a brand name for their Scotch that they make at this distillery. Right, exactly. And, and in honor of the average temperature in Dufftown. Coin 57. Coin 57. Is that Fahrenheit or Celsius? That's Fahrenheit. Kelvin. 57 Celsius. Celsius. Celsius would be a little hot. Frozen fish. Kelvin. Kelvin. Fish sticks. What's going on with this? Fish (laughs) You know what? I need to look up real quick. Uh Uh-oh. He's getting the phone out. No, the price point on this bottle, everyone's going to want to know. So I paid retail for this, and the retail for this particular Singleton uh, Game of Thrones is 30 bucks. It is an NAS, and it is bottled at 40 ABV. Okay, so 40. 40, yeah. Wow. Um, so I, I when I first nosed it, it was all like honey and like uh, so malty goodness. Honey. But now when I'm nosing it, I'm getting like a, a hint of like peppermint or something. I was just going to say mint. Yeah. I was just going to say mint. Like fresh it. mint when you yes. crush it. Like it's not like a, a fake mint. It's no, like it's a, a green. It's, real but it's not overbearing either. Just a hint of yeah. mint. And I was kind of surprised by that one. Yeah. So this is the termed. So uh, the Singleton that. Select. So it's not their 12, it's not their 15, it's not their 18. It's a unique bottling just for this expression. Right. I'm going to say this is 40 ABV. This is no yeah. doubt 40 ABV. That's what I said. It is. It it is. is. <laughs> Easy. It is. Um, I'm just double checking my math. <laughs> I'm double checking his palates what he's doing. <laughs> so if you have more information, I'm sure a lot of you do, would love leave some comments below. Let us know more about the Singleton. We've only done one bottle before in the past. Um, we'll link it up here for it you. Was but twelve? I think it was a twelve. Yeah, um, but, we liked it. Uh, it liked it. Yeah, it was, but it was a good everyday drinker. We're dummies, so educate us. So I, I didn't get the honey. I get your little bit of a mint. Honestly, it smells like a, a fresh feel, like airy to me. It, yeah. it smells light. It's up there in the uh, region. Yeah, it's it's really light. I'm not getting. I mean, there's no deep, rich fruits in there. There's no um, nothing powerful there, in there. There's a. I get a hint of fresh mint and some white pepper on the back end, and it's got it's got a little bit of sweetness. I think water's water's either going to bring out some some oh, cool so. stuff. Or it's gonna totally kill this one. Yeah, I, I, I'm not it's getting got it. Some malt, though. I mean, it's it's, it's it's a light classic, um, classic scotch. There's no there's no heavy barreling that has done anything to this to make it you know unique with a sherry cask or a, right. a peat or something like that. It's just basically distillate that's put in a barrel. It's straight up whiskey. Yeah. It's a thirty dollar bottle. 
Right. So let's let's finished. keep that in the back of your mind. You know um, what what we're tasting here. You know I don't I'm not going to expect a, a huge complexity. It's an NAS, um, but it does have a long finish. I'm, it's still, still chill. I, 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 it, it's it's I am a, too. it's kind of a quiet finish, but it just keeps hanging in there. I don't know. It's um, I got a little more florally on the nose to me after I took a sip. I gotta say, at first I thought the mint was gonna totally throw me off. But no, it's it's, so it's subtle. subtle, man. I mean, it's but it's there. It's kind of unique, actually. I just put a, a drop or two. I, I'm I'm such a ABV snob now. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to know where you're at, though, man. Hmm? This, is, you this is I'll tell you what. Right off the bat, though, this is very pleasant, easy to drink. I mean, there's oh, yeah. no, nothing wrong with it. There's nothing off-putting, as you would say. No. But it's I'm not, sure not it, super uh, deep either. It would probably make some good cocktails, <laughs> no, to be it honest. Like, this is a good mix of scotch to me. And there, there's definitely a mint there aspect to it. Yeah. There really is. Um, well, and I've never had that many of scotch, scotch, so it's kind I'm of not unique. Sure, uh, I'm not, I'm it's not honestly, about it. it's getting a little bit sweeter. Um, all right, for 30 bucks, I'm, I'm kind of intrigued. This. I'm really kind of just like, what's going on here? I, I we we have to assume that there's there's some coloring added in there, right? I mean, and it's yeah. got to be chill filtered at forty yep. percent. There's no doubt about that. I'm, I'm ready to go. Go for it. All right, shoot it. So, you know, at thirty bucks, I'm not expecting terribly complex scotch. I'm expecting uh, more of an entry level, and and for this edition, I think that this actually fits in very nicely. Um, like Drew said, there's nothing really off-putting. It's a very easy drinking scotch. If you were trying to get people that had never tried scotch before to come into the fold, this would be a great way to do it. Um, and it's got some unique notes for people that are scotch drinkers, like that mint. I was not expecting mint not. at all. Um, and it's subtle. Mm. It's not like putting a peppermint in your mouth. No. It's like it's like fresh mint in a field. You like you stepped it. on it and you get the, the smell of it yeah. and, and it kind of gets in your mouth a little bit. It's just a real light, it, so it's not off-putting at all. Um, with the water, the water didn't necessarily kill it. It brought out a little bit more of the sweet. Um, I, I lost a little bit of the pepper, but the finish was long. Still. It was longer than I thought it would be for a $30 scotch that's yeah. really light in flavor. So I'm going to give this a 2.5. I, I actually... You know, I, I think that it's. I, I think it's got more going on than than maybe on first glance you would give it credit for. And for thirty bucks, it's not too bad. And I'm giving it credit because I think the people that are buying this series, if they're not Scotch drinkers, if they open that bottle, they they may enjoy Scotch just from that mm -hmm. and try some new things. So yeah. two five from me. Yeah. All right. I got to be honest. I'm impressed with it. I, I had lower expectations on this. I, I mean, this is the cheapest bottle in the lineup. Okay, it's an NAS. There's what two of them that have age statements in the lineup. So I I, I match this with the others, and I'm like, okay, this is probably going to be the strike. Uh, of the <laughs> it's it's surprisingly pretty dang good for thirty bucks. I'm really impressed with with the finish. Um, Honestly, with with water too at forty percent, I thought water was just going to kill it. It hasn't. It's still approachable. It's still pleasant. There's still something there. Yes, it's a little softer after it's been watered down a little bit, but there's still a a really nice nose. There's a really nice, good long finish. And for thirty bucks, crap. And you, you get you know the whole tie with the Game of Thrones, the cool labeling and and a cool right. So it's cool, but I I say it's a solid two five. I really do. I, I mean, and I'm not just saying that because I'm you know a Game of Thrones fan. I'm actually really presently surprised by the sky. <laughs> so there you go. Them, two five. Not this guy. No, I'm not as impressed with this one. I, mean, <laughs> I didn't see that coming at all. No. <laughs> as I sit here and frown during the entire <laughs> night. <laughs> this is like soft and there's numbers to it. Um, I, I liken this really to like a Shivers 12. I mean, it is It is a, it almost tastes like a blended scotch because it's just, it, there's not a lot of rich flavors in it. Um, I don't know. It's got to be young. It's not on age, so it's probably fairly young for their core. It may be colored. I'm going to give it a... I'm between a 1, 5, and a 2. I'm going to give it a 2 because it, it does have a, a fairly long finish for what I'm getting here. Even with the water, it, it held up. I didn't add a lot of water, but it was good enough to hold up. I'm going to give it a 2 um, mainly because I would not turn this bottle down by any means. At this price, you can even buy it and give it to your friends. In fact, I had a guy at work ask me about a bottle. His dad... 
drink shivers. He mixes into Rob Boyce all the great. time. This is, this is perfect. Yeah. This is perfect for that. So yeah, I, I, I would recommend it to somebody. I would too, man. For too. Absolutely. I think it's a great compliment to a shivers mm-hmm. actually going up a little bit more. Um, I, you know, I'm, I'm with you two on this one. I, I think it's a solid two five, Ooh. honestly. Um, for the price, I mean, here's here's my thing with it. It's 40 ABV. Mm-hmm. If this thing was 46, I think it'd be really damn good. Yeah. <laughs> um, but it's only 40, and that's bothering me a little bit. Um, but from a taste perspective, it's got that little mint. I think it's kind of cool. Yeah, it not, is cool. It's, it's not off-putting, but it's no. Like, Ooh, what is that? And I've never had it in a scotch before, so I find that unique. Exactly. And uh, from the palate perspective, it's got just a little bit of sweet. Mm-hmm. I've got a decent amount of malt going on. Not bad. Sure. I'll give you and that. that. Finish. It's a long finish, guys. I mean, I'm, so this is I'm still chewing on that pepper, man. I, yeah, I, I it's, it stays glass. on your tongue. Ooh, it really there. does. It stays on the tongue. So, I mean, honestly, for for what you're getting, this is definitely a something that I would drink. You pour me a glass of this, I'm gonna enjoy it. Not bad at all. Uh, for the Game of Thrones piece of it, hands down, easy two five, just for that Ooh. perfect combo. That was simple. Two Math is hard. 2.375. There it is. Are you All sure? Right. I'll drink to that. There you go, guys. We Cheers. Live every Thursday. <laughs> Please hit the subscribe. Quite 57. Thank you. We'll see you guys. Cheers. Cheers.